The low spinning pitch shot is really a sight to behold. There's nothing better than seeing a ball flying low with lots of spin. It bounces once and on the second landing it just checks really quickly. Now I don't want to stand here and tell you it's an easy shot and this is how you do it because it's not. You need a tremendous amount of practice and feel. As always, it begins with the stance. Feet need to be close together. We want to quieten our lower body. The ball position is allowed to be slightly backwards in stance. So if I hold the club with my hands in the middle opposite my belly button, I've already reduced a bit of the loft from 56 to 50, more or less. Then I want to start the club on a very neutral plane. What I mean there is just keep the club head in front of the feet. From this position, we have the best chances to hit the ball solidly. Okay, it can work from here, it can also work from there, but it complicates things. Now the transition is important. I want to hold the club lightly because when I make this tr transition, I want the angle between the shaft and my arm to become smaller. And that will happen naturally if I hold the club lightly enough. Now this angle is necessary because we have to release the club later in the swing. That's important for the downward angle of attack, that's important for more speed, and it allows the ball to roll up the grooves and create spin. So once we've done that, it's time to release the club. Now this is a very important part of the low spinning pitch. It's not going to work if we release where the ball is. We have to release after the ball. I like to get into this position. The shaft and my shoulders form a 90 degree angle. If I do that, I have speed on this side of the ball. So I'm accelerating. I'm sure you've heard the pros say, I have to accelerate during my short game shots. This is what they're talking about. They're talking about the correctly timed release. It's all about timing, it's about feeling. So the angle becoming smaller during the transition and the late release is actually feeling. So I suggest that you perform as many practice swings as you can. And it takes a bit of getting used to releasing later. Now the later release will cause us to get into this position. And as you can see, I've reduced the loft even more. So now I've only got about 30 degrees loft, so that ball's going to start lower. And through the release, I'm going to get the ball to come up the club face and shoot off with a lot of spin. And the longer I have the ball on my club face, the more feel I have for the shot. Okay, so let's try it out. Close stance, neutral backswing, smooth, loose transition, late release, and this is the end position. So when a pro says I want to accelerate through the ball, he's not hitting at it, he's using his release to speed up the club through the ball and get that low spinner. So that's a lot of info. Have a look at the video a few times, go on the range, have fun and practice. And if there's one thing you should think about, that's the late release. And that's only possible if you have nice and easy loose hands during the backswing. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon again.